What's going on Halo fans, Luke the Notable here. In this video, we're going to be talking about why the Covenant, the main enemy in Halo, chose purple as their main color. I've been wondering this for a while, so I got together some facts and some fan theories, and we're going to be going over them in this video. Now, the real reason that Covenant ships are purple is because their ships are coated with a very strong coating of nanolaminate. And nanolaminate can range in color from purple to silver to blue, which are, of course, all of the Covenant's colors. Nanolaminate is an advanced technology that humans of the UNSC do not possess. That's why in Halo Wars 1, when these two ships collide, the Covenant one comes out pretty much unscathed, while the UNSC ship, the Spirit of Fire, is very damaged. So the obvious reason why the Covenant are purple is because they use nano-laminate coatings on their ships in order to get a tactical advantage over the UNSC. And that's it, guys. Tell me what you think down in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to think about why the Covenant are purple. I want to send a thank you to the sponsor of this video, Audible. If you'd like to learn more about Halo lore and maybe start making some of these videos yourself, you can get a free Halo audiobook down in the link in the description and start learning all about Halo's expansive lore. What? Oh, you... We gotta go more than that? Yeah, but you're paying me by the... Okay, fine. Okay, I guess we're gonna keep going. So we already know why the Covenant are purple. They use nanolaminate, and nanolaminate is a purple color. But why do they keep that color purple? For starters, from a game development perspective, purple is a pretty alien color. Compared to the UNSC's traditional camo colors, purple is a very big contrast and really shows that you're fighting an alien creature. Running through this level, the truth and reconciliation, you can really tell how purple everything is in the inside of this Covenant cruiser, and it makes you feel like you're just in such an alien environment. Environment. So I think the reason that the writers made nano laminate purple is because it's just a convenient way to sort of put that color in the lore. But the question that keeps coming up for me is why would the Covenant take this purple material, put it all over their ships, and then not just spray paint over it. What about that purple color does the Covenant like? Why do they keep that purple color? I've seen a lot of cool theories on why the Covenant kept the purple colors of their ship and didn't spray paint over them. I, I know I've said spray paint twice. It feels weird to say, I gotta stop saying that. They wouldn't use spray paint. They would use some future thing. It's 500 years in the future. It sounds weird to say spray paint. And Elite probably even couldn't hold a spray paint can, let's be honest. One theory that I've run into is that purple is better camouflage for their ships in space. This theory is incorrect because in space you don't need camouflage. Objects are far enough away from each other that you don't actually physically see them. In space you're detected by things like radar, not with the human eye. You also have to keep in mind that the Covenant have very, very good active camo technology. They can pretty much go invisible wherever they are regardless of their color, regardless of the environment that they are in. Covenant military ranks are generally shown by the armor that they wear. So a high-ranking elite general in the Covenant army would wear gold armor, but he he doesn't have to worry about standing out in combat because he can just go invisible. And do you really think the elites, who are a pretty crazy and hardcore species to begin with, would really care about blending in in combat? One theory I've seen for why the Covenant ships are always purple is because purple is the color of the elite's blood. This theory makes sense because the elites are hardcore militaristic. Their honor is incredible. To prove my point, here's a clip of an elite from Halo 5. And in Halo 5, you're friends with the Swords of Sanghelios, which are completely completely different from the Covenant. The Swords of Sanghelios are not part of the Covenant and therefore don't have the religious fanaticism. But still, this elite, after being wounded in battle, refuses treatment because it would hurt his honor. I would rather take my own life than let you touch me. That life is not yours to take. You belong to the Arbiter, and he believes you are worth repairing. I refuse to be shamed by a... <sighs> medic. Then die, coward! Fail the Arbiter. And someone that refuses to be treated for painful energy sword wounds sounds like someone who may just paint a ship the color of his blood. Yeah, I love being purple! But I think the one explanation that carries the most evidence on why the Elites and Covenant use purple as their main color comes from the fact that purple has a lot of cultural significance for the Covenant. Before the formation of the Covenant that we fought in Halo 1, 2, and 3, there was a great war between the Prophets and the Elites. The homeworlds for both the Prophets and the Elites had tons of Forerunner technology on them, and both species worshipped the Forerunner technology. However, the difference in their worship is that the Prophets decided to take the Forerunner 
technology dismantle it and use that technology to better their own species. When the prophets and the elites met, there was a massive war over this. The elites thought it was blasphemous to dismantle Forerunner technology for the sake of war or technological advantage. The prophets, using the Forerunner dreadnought, were able to completely destroy the elites' fleets, even though the elites pound for pound were better warriors. Eventually, this war led to the elites submitting to the prophets, and the Covenant was born. Shortly after, the Covenant capital in Holy City High Charity was constructed. Now, if you've ever pulled your hair out trying to play through the mission Gravemind in Halo 2, you'll know that there's a lot of purple accents in High Charity. And we know from the Halo lore novel Contact Harvest that these purple ornaments are completely ornamental, meaning that these purple accents are decorative. They are put there for a reason. I don't know about you, but if I was designing my capital in Holy City, I would want to use colors that were significant to me or my religion. So from this evidence, we can see that purple is significant to the Covenant. More evidence for this is that Zealot class elites, which are some of the highest ranking elites, are also purple. And in Halo 3, we also have evidence of green colored phantoms, which of course are normally colored purple. At the end of Halo 2 and the beginning of Halo 3, the elites sided with the humans after being betrayed by the prophets. And the elites that sided with the humans wanted to definitely make sure that they were not affiliated with the Covenant anymore. So they shed their purple colors and went with this cool green phantom. Just more evidence that purple is culturally significant to the Covenant's religion. And one of the main reasons that I believe the Covenant architecture and ship design revolves around the color purple is because the Covenant are focused on production. The Covenant win wars by flooding you with troops. They have to worry about producing tons of new troops and tons of new starships. So if the nano laminate coating that they put on their starships to make them stronger is already purple, they're just gonna leave it that way. It's almost sort of convenient for them. And I believe for all those reasons, that is why the Covenant are purple. I wanna take the time to thank the sponsor of this video, Audible. Audible is an audiobook service that you can start for free with a free trial down in the link in the description. They have all of Halo's expansive lore novels on audiobooks, so you don't have to read, you can just listen to them in your free time. If you click the link in the description, you get one free audiobook. And you can keep that audiobook forever, even if you cancel five minutes after signing up. So you have nothing to lose. Go and check out that link in the description and get started with Audible today. I'm thinking about doing another one of these videos focused on the Banished. The Banished have sort of a red color, and I've kind of wondered why they decided to use red. But comment down below which faction you would rather fight in a mainstream Halo game, the Covenant or the Banished. Also, at some point in this video, I have put two frames on screen, which includes a Halo Wars 2 complete edition code. At the time that I'm recording this video, I had a frame on my review of Halo 5 Guardians two years later, and no one has still found it. So I've made this one a little bit easier and gave you twice as many frames, but I'm still not giving you a hint for the Halo 5 video one. Good luck out there, and hopefully you snag Halo Wars 2. I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit the logo in the left to subscribe and make tons of awesome Halo content that you will definitely enjoy. And hey, if you want to try your lucky getting a free copy of Halo Wars 2, click the thumbnail on the right. It's also a pretty decent video on its own, so, you know. Thank you all for watching. Please stay notable, and I will see you in the next video.